Hey guys, this is Ms. Morgan and we're going to discuss how stock dividends affect stockholders' equity. You'll see here in the problem that we have 5,000 shares of outstanding common stock, $4 par, $2 million value. We have paid in capital for common stock of $1 million, so total paid in capital is $3 million. Retained earnings at the beginning of the problem is $33,500,000 for total stockholders' equity of $36,500,000. Now we're going to declare a stock dividend. And so the problem's going to have to tell us how much stock we're going to give away and what is the market value of the stock so we can create the journal entries. Well, here it says that we've issued a 2% stock dividend and the market value of that stock on the date of declaration is $13. So the first thing we've got to figure out is how many shares will we issue? So we're going to say we have 500,000 outstanding shares of stock times 0.02 because we're issuing a 2% stock dividend is going to give us our answer, so we're going to say 500,000 times 0.02 equals 10,000 shares of stock. The market value of what we're giving away is $13. The par value is $4. So we're going to debit, here's my journal entry here, and I'll go ahead and kind of gray these out so you'll know these are the journal entries there. So my stock dividend is going to be a debit for the market value of what I'm going to give away. So it's going to be 10,000 times $13 is $130,000. i am going to credit a liability account called Stock Dividends Distributable because on the date of distribution I have to give away that stock. And so the par value is $4 and I'm giving away 10,000 shares so my liability is $40,000. Paid in capital in excess of par is the difference between these two, which you can see here is $90,000. So the two things that are going to affect stockholders' equity here is retained earnings at the end of the year is going to be decreased by the amount of dividends declared. So we would take out $130,000 and then paid in capital in excess of par is going to go up, that is an equity account, $90,000. On the date of dis distribution, when you actually distribute the stock, you're going to debit your liability account, stock dividends distributable, and you'll credit the equity account, common stock, for that stock that you're giving away, and then that equity account increases by $40,000. Oops sorry, up here, 40000 So after the stock dividend, this is what your equity accounts are going to look like. Your common stock account actually increases because you've given away more common stock. Additional paid in capital in excess of par is also going to increase because the market value of what you gave away was more than your, com more than your par value for common stock. So your total paid in capital is now $3,130,000. So it went up by $130,000. Now you see what's going to happen to retained earnings. Retained earnings is going to go down by that same amount. So you'll say $33,500,000 minus $130,000 equals $33,370,000. Total stockholders' equity would then be $36,500. You see here that that's exactly the same as before the stock dividends were declared. You'll see that we had $36,500,000 worth of stockholders' equity, and after the stock dividend, we still have $36,500,000, but the paid in capital is more and retained earnings is less. So it's a shift in equity when you offer a stock dividend. 